Hello, everyone. Susan Campfield here with SueStampfield.com. Welcome to my craft room. My light is falling over. Seriously. Oh, my goodness. It's going to be one of those kind of nights. <laughs> it's just slowly collapsing. Whatever. Whatever. How are you? Welcome to my craft room. Come on in. Grab a, grab a beverage. Oh, I have a beverage, you guys. What? I don't want to be drinking stamp and mist. That could that could go that could go south really quick. <laughs> That's all right. You'll have to be drinking a beverage for me. So uh, here at Sue Stamfield, we play a little game. Um, I have a messy desk. I always have a messy desk because when I create, I pull stuff out and I get ideas and it inspires me and I make a big mess. So when I lose stuff, which happens when you have a mess, right? Uh, I say found it when I find it again. And then we all take a little sip. Oh, thank you, Janine. Yes, I have the Cardinal shirt. He's sitting on a little ornament there. Got a little, got a little Christmas stuff happening here. So hope you're all doing well. Um, it is, tis the season, right? Uh, December uh, 6th today, we're, we're getting into the holiday craziness right now. So I hope you're all doing well. Hope you're taking time for yourself. Um, it does get a little crazy at the holidays. Um, lots of lots of stuff going on and it can be hard it can be hard because we miss miss our loved ones that have uh, gone on and so um so sometimes crafts can really help with that so i'm so glad you're here hanging out we are going to talk christmas gift giving tonight we've been doing that uh, we did that in the last video as well last video we talked about gift card holders um tonight we're going to talk about gifting cards um i was talking to one of my team members we had our normal check-in phone call today um she's a newer team member and uh, Evelyn. Hey, Evelyn, if you're watching. Uh, and she was wanting to gift some cards to a, to a friend or some neighbors, friends and neighbors, and was wondering what to put the cards in to gift them. Thank you. I did get a new haircut today. I got new nails, <laughs> got all the things. Um, and so we're going to, uh, we're going to do that. We're going to make a, a holder for cards that you could gift. Um, busy day here today, getting my hair and nails done. So we're going to create it together. I always count on you guys um, to give me your input and we'll uh, do a little designing together. So we're going to play around with two different options on the, um, on the card holder. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to flip to the the desktop camera, shout out to Jennifer Walsh, my wonderful moderator. She's here helping us out tonight. Hey, Jennifer. Uh, Jennifer um, is one of my team members. And so if you have a question and I don't catch it, um, put the at symbol and uh, type in Jennifer and her name will pop up, Jennifer Walsh, and um, she can help flag me down and uh, let me know any questions. Um, in the last video we had, we had a, a pop-up gift card holder. I'll be showing you in a second. Um, that will be coming out in the next, the project sheet for that one will be coming out in the next email. Anyone is welcome to uh, join my email, suestampfield.com, click on subscribe, and then select project sheet newsletter. Um, and I send out free project sheets every week, two weeks, three, four times a month, whatever. It varies <laughs> whenever I have good stuff to share because I make sure those, those emails are packed full of value for you. All right, let's go ahead and flip to the, oh, let's go back to comments. Um, am I going to forget to hide that? Possibly. I probably should hide it. Oh, look, we have a random. <laughs> Welcome to my desk. We have weird things like random um, snowman hats uh, sitting on my desk because, you know, that's kind of fun. Uh, so after our last or last video, we made this. And that's the reason I'm leaving the um, the banner up for just a moment with the uh, subscribing to my emails uh, because this little uh, gift card holder. So you pull the tab and out pops this fun gift card inside. And so this little pop up, it's just a little slidey mechanism in there. Um, now, you if you don't give gift cards, you could put um, uh, just a sentiment in here it can actually be just a greeting card, just a greeting card. It could be a wonderful greeting card. Um, this one I did with the gnomes in our video. And then after the video, I made another one. If you recall during the video, I had 
Uh, originally I had made kind of a template um, and it just needed some decorating. So uh, for this one, I used the Storybook Gnomes Designer Series paper that is retiring. The Kindest Gnomes stamp set also retiring. Um, lots of good bargains on the uh, last chance list right now, like these gems that are part of the um, Storybook Gnomes. They're 60% off, you guys. Seriously, so many good deals. Make sure you jump on and pick these things up before they sell out. I didn't look at what the newest things are that have sold out, um, but if you go to uh, go to SueStampfield.com, click on Shop Now, and uh, go to the Stampin' Up um, website there, click on the last chance list and you'll you'll see all the deals. Um, so then after the video, I made this one. So cute. So this is that adorable, adorable snowman magic bundle. This one is retiring. Now, if you decide to pick this up and add it to your collection, it's super fun. Like it's like paper dolls. <laughs> you can cut out the little hats, the little sunglasses. You can probably fit those sunglasses on a bunch of other stamped images too. Um, but you build your snowman. Um, if you decide to get this, um, you're going to want to not get the bundle because if I'm remembering correctly, the dies are on sale for 30% off right now. So you're going to get a better deal if you just buy the stamp set for $18 and then get that, pick up the um, dies for 30% off. So you'll, you'll get some um, savings that way. So um, yeah, value, right? We're all about finding the best deal. So this one, you pull again on the slider and up pops a gift card. So uh, I love the sentiment. I love you so much. Um, so just kind of a, a fun way to gift um, gift cards because they are a gift, right? So might as well um, dress them up cute or fancy or whatever. Um, other gift card holder ideas from previous videos. This is with the, um, oh, hey, 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 we lost. <laughs> Hang on. The penguin lost its penguin gift card because, you know, everything has to match, you guys, right? This is a gift card slider. These little um, pockets are a die set. And they are like, they are super on sale right now. What are these on sale for? So you just slide, um, pull the ribbon. No, mine's, um, I'm <laughs> having a little glue problem here, you guys. I just glued my gift card. In. Oh, my goodness, Susan, seriously. All right, let's look at this one. <laughs> You pull on the ribbon and it slides out. I have a gnome one dancing around here somewhere. Here he is. Whee! Um, same thing. So these little uh, pockets are actually tags and it's called Celebrate with Tags. What are these on sale for? Like it's one of the good deals on here. Uh, I'm going to find it. Maybe Celebration Tag Dies are 40% off right now. Woohoo! So um, some really awesome deals. And the prices you're seeing there are the regular prices. I have the sale prices are cut off on my printout here. So um, anyway, fun way to gift your dress up your, your gift cards um, with these uh, celebration tag dies. Um, here's another one. It comes with these this pocket. It also comes with this little um, tag pocket, which works great for gift card too. Okay, moving on. But tonight we are talking about, oh, I'm going to make that, I'm going to make that banner go away now because it might get in our way. There we go. All right, we got snowmans peeking in here. So last chance deals going on the clearance rack refresh, some absolutely deal, great deals on ribbon and so forth. But tonight we're going to talk about um, a card holder. So I'm going to grab, let's just grab a piece of cardstock. What color do I want, you guys? Um, we'll, we'll just do it in black. We'll do it in black here. Okay, so, oh, Susan, what did you do with your paper trimmer? Seriously, seriously, hang on. Oh, golly. All right, I've lost my first thing for the night. <laughs> um, so I did a big, big stamp event for my church this weekend. Um, I had, it was a card making event. Um, they were um, encouragement cards for a, a local company that works with uh, people that struggle with mental health issues. 
and we did encouragement cards. And so I packed up a lot of stuff. Um, I had kids from the age of two to, to the youth, the teenagers making cards. And uh, then also the whole congregation <laughs> after church. And um, guess what? Not everything got unpacked. Oh, wait, it's across here. Ah, I see it. Yep. Found it. It was still in the bag. All right. Well, I already have my scoring tool out. So I'm going to keep that trimmer close by because I'm going to need that. Uh, but let's start with this one. So we're going to take a sheet of cardstock. Oh, my gosh. I'm all over the place, you guys. <gasps> deep breath. Deep breath. <laughs> So we have an eight and a half by 11 piece of cardstock and we're going to score this at four and a quarter all the way down and we're going to rotate it and we're going to score it at five and a half. Okay, so it's 11 inches long, scored it at five and a half and it's eight and a half inches wide and I scored it four and a quarter. Easy peasy, right? So I've got my crisscross there. Let's set that aside for the moment. And then we're going to take it and we're going to fold it. Oh, wait, put this away, Sue. I lose those um, <laughs> those scoring uh, things that go with the um, Simply Scored when I don't put it back in the little slot it belongs in. I'm going to take my bone folder here and I'm going to give this a good crease. Okay, so I folded it in half and I'm also going to fold it in half the other way. Okay, so I'm going to give that a crease. I'm going to open it back up all the way. And I'm going to do a little cutting. And this is what I needed my paper trimmer for. And I'm going to cut this one. I'm going to make this one so that it could hold um, cards that are in the vertical position or portrait position. So I am going to put this cardstock in my paper trimmer so that my score line lines up with the cutting track. I'm going to zoom in really quick here. I'm going to slide it back so you can, well, I'll just slide my camera up. So there is a, let's see, oh, it won't go any higher than that. There is a groove right here that the blade slides in, and that is going to be where it's going to cut. So I'm lining up the point of the score. Let me bring it in here. Come on, camera focus. And the point of the score is lined up right with that track. And then I'm going to be cutting a diagonal and the other uh, point of the score is also lined up in that track. Okay, are you with me? Let's zoom out so that you can see again. Don't want to make anyone dizzy there. All right. And then we're going to trim that. Okay, save this for some punching later. All right, so I've got that one cut. I want to do the same over here. Okay. This time, I think I'll go from bottom to top. It totally does not matter. You could also flip it over if you'd rather go from top to bottom. We're just going to diagonal cut. Um, this is a card holder to gift somebody cards, okay? So now I have something that looks like that, okay? And I'm going to flip it over, and I'm just going to fold that pointed part up. And can you see that that makes two pockets now for... Um, for the cards, and then you're going to close it up like this. So, Janine, uh, going to be able to see the corner of the cards? No. Uh, well, you will when you open it, but not from the outside. Good question. So I'm just going to give this a, a, a crease that helps kind of square it up. Um, so it's, it's a super easy little folder. And this size of folder is perfect for... This is what we used at church when we made all these encouragement cards. These are the Stampin' Up! Basic White Note Cards with Envelopes. These are a little bit smaller than a standard card, but um, are, are the right size for mailing uh, without, you know, weird postage requirements or anything. Um, so, to show you, they're pre-scored. Just fold them up. They're quite thick. They're more like the thick Whisper White. So they're a good, good weight. And then you've got the matching envelope. And then you can slide that in. You can see those fit perfectly in there, envelope and card. You can easily fit um, two on each side. So you could gift four of them. And then you can decorate the cards. You can decorate the folder. The reason that I'm using a folder that is super simple is you're going to be decorating the cards and that's where you want to put um, 
most of your time and effort. I did see a number of patterns for these where it was fancy triangles and it was like a whole template. And I was like, mm, no, I want easy, easy. And so this was the easiest one that I found. So we'll just quickly decorate this and then we're going to do a different one. Um, we'll look at one for if you want to gift full size cards. Okay. So we're going to decorate this. Here's my thinking. Envision this. We're going to put this little, um, little dog on the front. This dog punch is from the mini catalog. It is retiring. It's adorable. It is on sale. I want to say I bet Jennifer Walsh could find the page number for us because she excels at that because I'm, Oh, well, no penguin builder punch. Ooh, penguin builder punch is 60% off. Wouldn't that be cute too? You could decorate it. Oh, wait, hang on. I got stuff. Pe oh, I got secret stuff peeking in from the new mini. <laughs> I've been getting ready for my team a Christmas uh, event this week. We're having our virtual gathering on Friday and our in-person gathering on Thursday. And I sent out all the packets today and the gift for me. Um, so, yeah, it's been a little crazy. Um, the penguin would be adorable on this as well. And that one's 60% off. But I can't find the... Uh... Help me out, Jennifer. I cannot find it. Scotty Dog Punch. I found it. Yes, Scotty Dog Punch, 30% off right now. That would be super cute on the, the front of this. So even better. Huh. Remember that piece we had cut off? Well, that would be too perfect to punch out a little dog from. Let's do that. Got to use those scraps, right? All right. Can I even get two? Probably not. Nope. I can get one. Get another one out of here, though. There we go. But black bows will not cut it. We need red bows. Aha. Here is a scrap of red cardstock that I actually punched another bow out of this from before. So $13.30. Mabel says, thank you very much, Butchie. All right, there we go. Uh, Jennifer, did I miss something? Are we talking about uh, the Country Hive? Um, okay, so we've got our little Scotty dog here. You can make them facing left. You can make them facing right. It doesn't matter. So can you see what an easy, cute little card that would be? And then the, let's find the Christmas Scotty stamp set here. You could uh, stamp woof or better yet, woof, woof, woof in the corner. What a fun little gift to give a bunch of note cards to your vet or to your uh, doggy daycare place um, for them to, to use um, when they need to send out cards and notes to people. Um, and then the front of this, I would decorate like that. This particular designer series paper is retiring. I don't know if it's sold out yet. It would not surprise me at all if it's if that one sells. Oh, oh. All right. Does anyone see what I did with the glue dots? I bet you I took those to church too. Oh, found them. They were hiding. All right. Take a sip, everyone. That is number two. Number two, Jennifer, if you're keeping track for us, like you always do. Uh, I'm just going to grab this little glue dot here. And. Stick my bow on my Scotty dog. And then you might be wondering, how are we going to close this? Well, that's what we're going to work on. So let's quickly cut a piece of the um, Sweetest Christmas Designer Series paper. This particular pattern is not Christmassy, so no worries there. We're going to use the back side that just has these fun little red and white polka dots. Actually, the stripes wouldn't be very Christmassy either. But I'm going just with an all red and black theme here. So let me grab my paper trimmer. Cindy, this is the sweetest Christmas designer series paper. If, if, if I have the right one that you're asking about. And this is three and a quarter by two. 
I don't know that I want it that long. I'm going to try two by three. Because, you know, I'm just living dangerously here. <laughs> Let's try two by three. Three and a quarter was the perfect size to fit on that gift card, but I think it might be a little too big for the card. Let's go for the front of my folder here. Yeah, I think that's better. Come here, little puppy. <laughs> New nails, but they don't work so good. All right, so there we have our little decoration there. And we're going to go ahead and talk closure. So this one is perfect to use a ribbon tie closure. I'm just going to grab this ribbon because I'm still out of the other red ribbon, but I kind of like the ruffly. See, <laughs> bump the camera. Sorry, you guys. Um, the ruffly ribbon is kind of fun for a gift, right? And for this puppy dog, it just seems to kind of go. Um, I, I cut off a generous amount of ribbon there. Um, if you didn't want to use ribbon as a closure for this little folder, you could instead make a belly band, which is just a strip of designer paper or cardstock that is wrapped around and secured with um, adhesive to itself so that it slides on and off the project. I like ribbon because it just makes it seem more like a gift, I guess. Oh, we have, speaking of dogs, we have a dog scratching at the door. My husband and son are not home right now. They went to visit my husband's parents. So, all right, there's a dog that wants something, of course. Trim off the tails here. And then this piece can go right here. So if I do that, then the person would need to um, tie and untie the ribbon to open the folder, right? Okay, so this can go right over the top of that with some dimensionals. Found those, no problem. I'm going to actually tack my ribbon down with a dimensional. And then I'm going to put a dimensional in each corner. Hi, Mercy. What do you want, puppers? What do you want, puppers? All right, pull this off. Pop that right on. Okay, so we have a little dog on here. And then inside we have our note cards, right? <laughs> Can you guys hear her scratching at the door? Oh, goodness. All right, pull that tight. All right, so there we have our little pocket. Then the recipient just unties it opens it up and inside they're going to have their cute little dog cards and envelopes, right? So that's one idea. Of course, you can do it, decorate this any way you want. It could be flowers, it could be penguins, it could be um, trees, it could be anything, right? So whatever goes, um, this, the Scotty stamp set, is it sold out? Oh, bummer. Is it, is it sold out, Bonnie B? Let me know if it is. It could be. I didn't look at what was gone. So um, it is retiring. <gasps> it's possible. All right. But you know what? You don't have to use the set. You can just use the punch if that's not sold out. So seriously, you don't want to wait on these last chance things, you guys. They go fast. This paper, I think, is going to go fast. All right. So that was a note card sized version. Oh, my gosh. These are bugging me. They're, they're in my camera. They're not looking nice. So. Um, all right, you know, uh, so we're going to do a, uh, another version and I'm going to have you vote on this one is going to be for full size cards. It wouldn't let you add it to your order. Um, Jennifer, would you be able to pop onto the, uh, Stampin' Up! website and look under the inventory status report? under discontinued and see if that uh, Christmas Scotty stamp set is sold out. I would appreciate it so much. We all would. Thank you so much. Um, Scotty stamp set is gone, but punch is still available. Thank you, Jean. Never mind, Jennifer. <laughs> uh, oh, the Jennifer. Well, Jennifer. Yeah. 
are they still look under discontinued, Jennifer? Double check on that one. Hang on one moment. Okay, I open the door and she's now left. So that's good. Maybe she might be back. If she gets back, I'm going to make her say hi. Then, then we'll have a real dog saying hi. All right. So this next one, we're going to do a size for full size cards. That version was for note cards and envelopes, which are great because they're quick and easy to do um, because of the smaller size. But we might want to uh, do full size cards. So do we want to do the Sun Prints designer series paper or hang on, I got more choices, more choices, more choices. Oh, for heaven's sakes, can't find it. <laughs> Get your drink ready. Get your beverage ready. Oh, come now. Really? Really? Okay, maybe we won't be using that one. All right. All right, Bob. Yeah, I'm what you need. I can't help you right now. I can't help you right now. Oh, you want to come in? Ah, found one. All right. Or we could do Splendid Day. Or we could do the um, fitting florets. So let me know if you want number one, which is sun prints, number two, splendid day, or number three, fitting florets. Let me know in the comments which one you vote for. Okay. Let's see, checking the comments, which way we're going to go here. And while you're commenting, I'm going to grab my, oh, here I see the comments coming in. Two, one, three. Okay, we've got those all cancel each other out. <laughs> two, three, three, two, two, two. Sun prints. Three, two, three. One, 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 two, <laughs> one, two, three. Okay, I'm getting all the all the things. Um, all right, we're gonna go sun prints. Um, one, one, one. I'm not sure. The oh, here, hang on. We might do two. What the heck? All right. Let's start with the sun prints. So I'm going to grab the paper trimmer. And I'm going to score my paper here. So I have a 12 by 12 sheet. And I'm going to score this um, at half, which is six inches. We are making a card holder for full size cards. All right. So I've got that scored and I'm going to rotate it and I'm going to do the same thing. Six inches. This is very similar to the one we just made with just a little bit of a difference in that we're going with 12 by 12 and we're going to do some changes to it. All right. So I've got that scored. And I'm going to fold it in half here. We're going to fold on those score lines. How many cards is a large, larger holder, 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 ugh, holder hold? That is a really good question. Um, I would say you can easily fit four cards in it, two on each side, possibly more, but you're also going to want to add envelopes. Um, and it kind of depends on how many um, fun embellishments and things you add to your um, cards. So now I'm going to fold it the other way, folded it in half, and I'm folding it basically in, in quarters. Okay, give it a good crease there. And so now I want to just decide, uh, I'm going to do my triangle cutting and I want to decide um, where that's going to be. Um, so you can work with your pattern there. 
and I think I'm going to go this way. So I'm going to cut it like that. All right. So I'm going to open this back up. I'm going to take my paper trimmer. And just like we did before, we're going to cut from this point to this point by sliding it into the paper trimmer along that track. Okay, save that. And I'm gonna turn this around and do it on the other side. I chose to cut off the parts that don't have any pattern on them, which is going to mean my, um, the one on my front is, is kind of upside down, but not really. I'll show you what I mean. All right, so point to point, that's trimmed off. And so that folds in like that. So usually I would do it this direction, but I'm gonna have it this direction, which is fine. It's like these pieces are coming in from the sides and the top, all right? So when this one op opens up, it's like that. Now the advantage with this size, the six by six size, is not only that it um, can fit full size cards, but also that it could fit an assortment of cards in both directions. Um, got it, Jennifer, thank you so much. Um, it looks like the, the website may not be updated yet with the information about the Scotty, but we, it looks like the stamp set is sold out. So thank you so much, Jennifer. So I have some um, sun print cards. I love making this. I have a whole video on my channel here where I show you just a ton <laughs> of cards with the sun prints. Um, and so like for this one, since I'm using navy for the folder, I would maybe just pick the navy cards, but you could certainly do an assortment. But if I wanted to gift this card that is upside down, <laughs> this card that is horizontal, and this card that is vertical, this six by six on each side pocket would give me that ability. Does that make sense? And of course, we can also fit in our envelopes, of which are not here. Hang on. Um, they are here. They're just not where they belong. Found them. Found them. So let's just check it with the envelopes. You can see how those fit in there. And this one is right here. So if you wanted to gift um, gift cards that are both directions, does that make sense? Then you could do both. Okay. Um, or you could leave it this size. However, you might want it to be all vertical and you might want it to be a little smaller. In that case, you take the designer paper and you just trim it down. Okay, so we're going to we're going to do that now. So we're just going to cut off. Um, I think it was an inch on each side. Let's measure it and see what I did this right before the video and I don't remember it was an inch and a quarter off each side. So I'm going to take my paper trimmer here. And I'm going to cut off an inch and a quarter here. Okay, so it still gives us our pocket. Just a little, you know, different slant to it, but same thing and an inch and a quarter here. Now I have this pocket that is all set for vertical cards. I could still gift horizontal cards and I would just put them in that way, right? So, uh, but they all go in vertical. Now I have two cards in here and two envelopes and you can see how thick that is. Let's add in two more, which I think is probably going to be the maximum on this. Uh, my cards, of course, all have gems and dimensionals on them, which do make them a little thicker. If you wanted to simplify these cards, you absolutely could do that. This one has tons of foam tape <laughs> on it. Um, so you can see now how thick it is. And it folds up like this. Oops, did I forget the envelope? I did. Get the envelope for that one. Don't want an incomplete gift, right? 
and those I'll just tuck right in there. And, you know, I think four cards is a lot. Um, the other thing that you can do when you're gifting cards is you can give your recipient a variety of sentiments. Um, these are kind of generic. Hello there. You're on my mind. Um, you could punch out some pieces that say happy birthday or happy anniversary. And you could put those um, loose in the folder. And that way the person can customize the cards based on what they, what the, you know, whatever the event is. Does that make sense? Hopefully that makes sense. Now I would absolutely decorate this up and you can see we're going to want a closure here because it's quite thick and it's wanting to pop open. So you're going to want to use a, some sort of closure for that. Um, uh, and it is a great idea for gift giving. It gives us a chance to do what we love, right? Which is make beautiful cards um, and gift them to people. I'm just looking for, what ribbon do I want to use, you guys? Mm. Well, let's see. Um, would this one work? This one will work. I hope this is still current. It's called frayed ribbon. It's nice and thick. It feels like gifty. <laughs> is that a word? Probably not. Um, so you could use, uh, this is a perfect uh, opportunity to use some of your wider, thicker ribbons uh, because this is a heftier folder. And this one you don't need to tie in a bow even. Um, you can just tie it in a knot. like that. So just a very loose little knot that could be easily untied. And I'm just going to trim that bit. And then you can put, uh, you know, decorate the front any way you want. You can use some of the, um, you could use a smaller piece of the designer paper. Uh, do I have that? All right. What did I do with it, you guys? Mm. Did I actually put it away? Doubt it. Oh, maybe I did. Let's see here. So you could take, I did put it away. How about that? How about that? You could do a smaller piece of that paper um, layered on white for the front. You could even cut the same one right here, layer it on the front, put just for you, um, uh, something to that effect on, on the front of the folder. I will finish these up and put photos in our, um, decorate them <laughs> in our Sue Stampfield group. Uh, anyone is welcome to join that group. It is on Facebook. It's a, a private group. Just request to join, uh, go to groups and search for Sue Stampfield and, uh, put in your request and I will add you to the group. Um, we talk paper crafting and everything else. Right now we're talking about, what are we talking about today, guys? Was it favorite Christmas song today? I think so. Uh, was that on our team page? No, I think it was favorite Christmas song. Okay, so does that make sense? I, it's really, really easy. You know, it does look nice without any um, additional uh anything. <laughs> I mean, it's just really nice. And then the cards really shine. Now this one, if you chose not to decorate the front, the other advantage of that is they don't need to untie it. They can actually slide that off like a belly band, in which case I would actually put it right in the center. Okay, just like this. And we're going to make uh, one more just really quick with the Splendid Day paper, because a number of you voted for that um, in the comments. And I think that one might have not, a few more votes came in after I started with this one. And so that one might have been the actual um, winner. So let's do that really quick, just to see what that looks like. So there you've got a fun gift to give for Christmas. They're gonna love it. You could even put postage stamps in there, a little sheet of postage stamps or half a sheet or something. Um, uh, especially if it's a person that is, um, homebound and it's hard for them to get out uh that would be really really generous to to put in some um some some postage stamps and this is like a, this is like gifting a little piece of your heart right because you handmade these cards and um that's really special all right so we're gonna grab our splendid day paper here 
and we're going to do the same thing. So this is 12 by 12. We're going to score it at six. And could you figure out what it would be to do it the other way? Maybe, but this is so much easier, you guys. Um, I think it's easier to score it this way, fold it, and then cut off the sides. All right, so I've got that crisscross in the center. And we're going to fold it in half here. This one is a pretty foil paper. This one is on, um, it is last chance for this one as well. It is retiring. It is on sale. I don't recall the discount, but it was a pretty steep one. Anyone? Uh, was this one on sale? I think it was. Um, mm -hmm. Anyone? Uh, Splendid Day Designer Paper, 60% off. Holy cow. It was originally $15, and now it's 60% off. This is a great one to add to your stash. All right. And it comes in all different colors. Right now I'm using... Um, the one that's uh, got Sahara sand on the back. With this design, you are going to want to pay attention that the paper you're using, um, that you like the inside, uh, the back side of the paper, because both are going to show. Does that make sense? All right, I'm going to bring my trimmer back in, and we're once again going to cut diagonal to diagonal here. Come here. Let's see. There we go. And I probably shouldn't be creasing this before I cut that off because I'm getting a wrinkle in the paper, and that's just because it's so thick. I think uh, my original sample, I didn't crease it until after I had cut this diagonal part, um, and I did not get a crease. So just uh, FYI on that. All right. I'll play around with it, though. So we've got that point that folds in to form those pockets and then we're going to cut it down so we're going to cut off an inch and a quarter off of each end you can leave it big if you want if you'd like to do oversized cards you could totally leave it big right um, or if you wanted to turn turn some landscape and some portrait again you could totally leave it big all right, so an inch a quarter off each side, fold it up, and there we have our super pretty <laughs> All right, let's see where the bone folder go up. Oh, found it. It was hiding under my scraps. Found that one pretty easily, but you can still take a sip because remember you're you're taking a sip for me too because I left my beverage downstairs. So you've got your, your uh, pockets there. And let's see here. Um, do I have any? Um, you don't have to do, obviously, I could do some of the Nature's Prints cards in here, right? That would be fun. Actually do those kind of those neutrals look nice. But you also could do You could use the rest of the pack of paper to make some cards up. Um, these, uh, I shared this uh, fun fold design in a previous video, two videos ago, with the candy cane dies. So if you look, if you want to learn this easy fun fold, you can find that video with the candy cane dies. And I did these versions with the, um, the stamps and dies that go with the Splendid Day Designer Series paper. I'm stalling because I can't remember the name. Splendid Thoughts is the name of the stamp set. Um, and so these could go in here and it could all be matchy matchy, right? Evelyn was talking about doing navy. She, Evelyn and I both love navy and lots of white space. So, um, so then you can fold up your little folder, decorate it up cute. Um, you could even do that same decoration on the front, sending hugs. And you've got an easy gift to give. Gosh, what ribbon would I use for this one? I really like that thick one that we used on the other uh, the other card. But let's, let's see, what would this one look like? Is it too brown? No, well, this would be nice. This is from the annual catalog. It's the um, natural finish ribbon. This would be another 
the wider ribbons are really nice for these closures. And again, you could keep it really simple and not decorate the front and make this ribbon just be a, in a belly band that can just be slid on and off um, to get to access the cards. Let's tie that up. I know you guys have designer paper sitting around that you want to use, right? Use it and gift it. This one is perfect for that, this design. And you can use your little scraps and pieces of leftover designer paper to make up the cards that go in the pocket. All right. So what do we think? Are we going to share some of our handmade cards with our friends and family for gifts this season? What a great gift idea, right? <laughs> so super simple. And uh, you can use anything from your sash. I maybe wouldn't use Christmas paper, but you could. Um, maybe you're going to gift it early so that they can send out, um, you know, Christmas cards that you designed, right? Uh, definitely another way to package those cards up. Or you could do a whole series that are birthday cards and you could have it with the birthday paper um, and decorate it on the front with some birthday images. So uh, I'm just stalling while I tie the knot here. So, so there we have our super simple um pocket to gift out cards thank you so much for tuning in tonight um you gave your sister some cards well see now you've got this idea for future gifting right so uh, i'm gonna flip the camera here yay <laughs> Thanks so much for joining me. Quick reminder, um, there will be a project sheet coming out probably in about a week. Uh, if you don't want to miss out, you can go ahead and click uh, on subscribe. Also uh, coming in about a week will be the, um, the Crafternoon Bundle from November. And that was the uh, double fold step fold card hard to say double fold step fold card um that will be in a blog post so if you subscribe the same spot if you subscribe to my blog you get notification uh for that so take care everyone i hope you're having a great week don't get stressed out about the holidays deep breath eat chocolate <laughs> drink some wine or water or whatever, uh, relax and just try and enjoy. And, uh, thanks for hanging out with me in my craft room tonight. We made a mess. I didn't lose too many things. Did I, Jennifer? I don't think it was, I've, I've certainly done worse. So <laughs> take care, everyone. Thanks for hanging out with us and we will see you next time. Bye-bye. Take care. <laughs>